Breaking news, the images just in from police in Louisville from outside and inside that Louisville bank. The deadly mass shooting at the old National Bank. And tonight we have learned the 25-year-old suspect, a bank employee. Police say he bought his AR-15 less than a week before the shooting. The newly released body camera video showing rookie officer Nicholas Wilt here just 10 days after graduating from the academy, racing to the scene, then shot in the head. And the officer training him, climbing the bank stairs, heading toward the gunfire, taking down the gunman. Surveillance images showing the suspect with his newly purchased AR-15. Authorities say he killed five of his co-workers. Tonight, their names and faces here. Josh Barrick, a father of two small children. Deanna Eckert's father calling her good and sweet and generous. Tommy Elliott, a dear friend to the governor and mayor and to that community. Juliana Farmer, just three weeks on the job. And Jim Tut, who loved to sail his boat with his son. And tonight, still in critical condition, that rookie officer, Nicholas Wilt, who answered that call yesterday. It was just his fourth shift since starting the job. We warn you, the images are difficult. And ABC's Trevor Alt leading us off again tonight in Louisville. Tonight, a disturbing first-person view as Louisville police officers raced to stop the gunman in Monday's deadly bank shooting. The shooter setting up an ambush in the front lobby. Rookie officer Nicholas Wilt and his field training officer Corey Galloway taking fire as they pull up. Stop right here. Back up, back up, back up, back up. But still running toward the gunfire up the stairs to the bank entrance when officer Wilt is shot. Officer Galloway also grazed by a bullet, finding cover. He's shooting straight through these windows, right towards the officer. Then returning fire, killing the suspect. I think I got him down. I think he's down. Suspect down. Get the officer. Authorities releasing these body camera videos late today. The entire incident lasting just nine minutes, but there were more than a dozen casualties. Five people killed. The shooter using an AR-15 he bought less than a week before the attack. He purchased the weapon legally from one of the local dealerships here in Louisville. Authorities say as a current bank employee, the shooter, 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon, walked in through the front door, opening fire in a crowded conference room and live streaming the assault on Instagram. We know he left a note. We know he texted or called at least one person to let them know he was suicidal and contemplating harm. Officials say that rookie officer Nicholas Wilt remains in critical condition, shot in the head just 10 days out of the academy. We heard this was his fourth shift on the job. Is it accurate to say he still did not hesitate in He did not hesitate. This? At all? At all. He was with his field training officer and he did not hesitate. Tonight, we're learning more about the five people whose lives were taken. Josh Barrick had a wonderful sense of humor, was sentimental, and was passionate about life. Deanna Eckert is being remembered for how good and sweet she was and generous. Tommy Elliott was an incredible friend. Governor Andy Bashir saying he was one of the people I talked to most in the world. Juliana Farmer's family telling us she was a beautiful person that loved her family and friends. And Jim Tut was incredibly compassionate and had a teacher's heart. And speaking today, the chief of medicine at the hospital treating the victims, saying he's grown weary after years of gun violence. I'm a doctor. I don't know what the answers are. But to everyone who helps make policy, both at state, city, federal, I would simply ask you to do something. Because doing nothing, which is what we've been doing, is not working. We have to do something. That was the plea there from Louisville today. Trevor Alt back with us tonight. Trevor, obviously these images are so difficult. We think about all the families again tonight. And of course, the police who got there acted quickly, including that rookie officer. Uh, that's right, David. The deputy chief noted once these officers arrived on the scene here, there were no other civilian casualties. And he specifically praised Officer Wilt, said as a brand new officer, he had nothing to rely on but his training and his character. And he chose to run into the line of fire to save other people's lives. And now, David, the city has scheduled a vigil tomorrow to honor the victims. David. Let's hope for a full recovery for that rookie officer, Trevor. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.